Grab those sticks, Emery. Torches. Right. Torches. Yeah. A sucking darkness enveloped them as they entered the vampire lair. The narrow hallway opening up into a huge sort of hall. A path ran between a series of large stone pillars, the darkness shrouding what lay at the end. Emery handed forth a torch. They'll be all around us in moments, if they aren't already. He needn't have bothered to explain. Penny could feel the vampire's predatory magic curling around her. She could sense their presence drifting closer. Hostile, hungry, and playful. These types weren't interested in a quick meal. She continued along. Emery was right behind her. The glow of their fire sticks. Torches, creating a halo around them. What? No magic from our illustrious natural mages? A sultry voice slithered out of the darkness. I'm not here to fight, but I will. We're looking for Darius. They know why we're here. If they know, why aren't they leading us to him? A body appeared up the way. The vampire was what in Reagan referred to as its monster form. Swampy green, with lank black hair framing a long, drawn, and, well, monstrous face. Long white fangs dropped down from black gums, and its claws clicked together as it wiggled its fingers. It hissed, and stringy drool dripped from its mouth. Purple Stiltskin's foreskin, what is it trying to do, scare us? Penny wove elements together at a blinding speed. No, no, wait! But it was too late. She let her magic slam into the swampy monster. The spell burrowed between its ribs, making it jerk back before igniting. Guts and grime flew everywhere, slapping off Emery's hastily erected shield, something Penny had forgotten about. Getting slimed with that stuff would have been gross. The remainder of the body dropped to the floor. Other vampires in monster form pushed away from the path, and a couple of creatures, unseen in the darkness, hissed. That might cause a problem. We should try to remain peaceful. 